Good evening. We begin with new testimony from another key organizer of the Freedom Convoy. Tamara Leach testifying at the inquiry into the federal government's use of the Emergencies Act tonight, describing why she decided to act after vaccine mandates were introduced. I heard from families that were living in their vehicles because they'd lost their jobs. I heard from people that had lost their jobs and lost everything. I have the tears of thousands of Canadians on my shoulder who every day told me that we were bringing them hope. I saw Leach added that the goal was never to upset Ottawa residents. She is facing criminal charges for her role in the Freedom Convoy. Day 16 also revealing infighting between convoy members and a new look at the donations that came in fast and furious. With more, here's CTV's Natalie Van Roy. An inquiry into the federal government's use of the Emergencies Act is shedding more light on the darkest moments of the so-called Freedom Convoy. Behind the scenes, infighting between organizers. She told me, she told him to leave. Convoy member Benjamin Dichter testifying that Tamara Leach asked organizer Pat King to not show up at all. And he was very upset, but he said, fine, if I'm not welcome here, I'll go home. And I said, great, nothing personal, but we can't have that sort of rhetoric here. She said to me, yeah, we, he said he was going to leave, and then he showed up at the next trucker stop. I'm like, well, you got to deal with this. Dichter says he wasn't on the same page as Leach about striking a deal with the city to move vehicles out of residential areas because he said they were partially coordinated by Ontario Premier Doug Ford's former chief of staff. <laughs> Despite division between convoy members, the movement gained traction worldwide. A report tracking the money donated revealed nearly $25 million came in last winter. On GoFundMe, 89% of donors were from Canada. The various Freedom Convoy campaigns on Give, Send, Go raised more than $13 million with the United States or elsewhere. A report by the Commission shows a million dollars was spent by the convoy's organizers. $18 million was refunded to donors and the rest was either confiscated are put into a fund pending civil court cases. Convoy member James Boder taking the stand Thursday afternoon. He prepared a manifesto to overthrow the government. We could have facilitated uh, establishing the Canadian Citizens Committee so that we could then sit down in, in partnership with the Senate and the Governor General and address the unlawful mandates that are happening across this country and come to some resolution. That memo is important because it essentially suggests the government of Canada should be replaced with the protesters in control. Boder testifying that they withdrew the document after being attacked and defamed over it. Natalie Van Roy, CTV News. We've also